So today we're going to be talking about pulping and refining. My dog will not leave me alone, so this is Sammy. When I was in grad school, pulping and refining were uh, concepts that were really hard for me to pull apart. Because in hand paper making, pulping and refining are used interchangeably, but in industrial paper making they're very separate things. And I wanted to make a video to explain the differences because uh, once I got it, it, it just clicked, but it took me forever to get there. And this is less of a how do you pulp, how do you refine video, that it's more of a what is pulping, what is refining, and why is it important. There are two kinds of pulping, chemical and mechanical. In pulping, what you're trying to do is expose the cellulose fiber so that there are bonding sites for the paper web to stay together. In mechanical pulping, ground wood pulping, the process is exactly how it sounds. It's the wood being ground into itty bitty pieces so that the fibers are exposed and the bonding can happen. Nothing is removed, so the lignans remain, the waxes remain. Because of this, it's a very high yield pulping process. However, it's a very low strength pulping process and a low quality of paper because the lignans are still there. This is like um, newsprint. Mechanical pulp is highly used in newsprint, so when the newsprint browns, it's because of the residual lignin. Chemical pulping processes include sulfite, craft, which you might be familiar with. You see craft paper, it's a product of the craft pulping process. It means strong in German. And then there's the soda process, which many hand paper makers are familiar with. Chemical pulping processes remove or attempt to remove as much lignin and wax as that kind of thing as possible. Because of that, there's a low yield, but also very high strength because there's more bonding sites, less stuff that you don't want. So as a hand paper maker, if you are buying sheets of cotton or sheets of abaca, then you are receiving fiber that has already been pulped in a pulping mill. If you are buying raw fiber, so like bark fibers, or you can buy just like raw hemp or raw flax, and you're processing those yourself, or if you're getting plants from your backyard and processing them yourself, cooking them in soda ash, cooking them in lye, that is the pulping process. So pulping and refining are different. Pulping is exposing the cellulose fiber. Refining is further finessing that fiber to change your end properties. I can't figure out how to put audio over a photo right now, so I will just tell you what the next photo is about. It is a man who is loading a Hollander beater with pulp, sheets of pulp, and in the beater, that's where the refining happens. I love this graphic because it really illustrates how interdependent paper making is. So you see paper quality, things like formation, stretch, tear, stiffness, porosity, density, these kinds of things depend on the furnished behavior in your paper machine operation or as a hand paper maker in how you form your sheets. Those things are your basis weight, retention, drainage. All of those things are dependent on the induced fiber properties that are developed during beading and refining. And those things are dependent upon the inherent fiber properties, the wood or plant species, and the fiber preparation, which is pulping. This is why some hand paper makers choose to do their own pulping. Because if you have control from the very start, then you are, it's basically your own process. But it's no harm in buying pulp that's been produced by professional pulp mills or even repulping, which is what recycling paper is called. One way that you can remember this is that pulping is the liberation of fibers, coaxing them apart from each other by chemical, mechanical means, or combination. And refining is fibrillation. And what that is, I will show you next. So this is the surface of a piece of paper that is magnified 
600 times. And you'll see the individual fibers that are all overlapping each other. And if you go even closer, this is 1,500 times. These little guys here, these are fibrils. This is external fibrillation. You also have internal fibrillation. It's a hard word for me to say. But this is what you're doing when you're refining is that you are working the fibers to increase the bonding areas. So refining will change the mechanical properties of your paper. And the mechanical properties are all based on strength. They're all about strength. And the strength of the paper is based on two things. One, the strength of the fiber itself. And two, the strength of the inner fiber bonds, bonds between fibers. So refining is this fine dance of trying to find that point of where you develop enough interfiber bonding without weakening the fiber itself. Here's another graph to kind of illustrate that concept. So the degree of fiber fiber to bonding on the x-axis is pretty much the increase of refining because the more you refine, the more fines you create, that's little tiny itty bitty fibers, and increases the surface area, which increases the bonding. So the degree of fiber fiber bonding increases. Initially, the tensile strength of the paper increases, but then the fiber strength quickly deteriorates and the fiber to fiber bonding can't compensate for it. So the paper weakens. That's in the sulfite pulp and the craft pulp that you see. And then the hardwood craft has a different curve. Hardwood, the other ones are softwood, so conifers. And then the newsprint, that's groundwood. So you see that it increases to a point, but then it just kind of disappears because that's as far as it can go. That last graph may have been a little bit tangential. I'm trying to like give a brief overview and um, not meaning to get tangential. You know, it's not so much that it was tangential. I just think maybe the last one wasn't that helpful, but maybe you enjoyed it. Anyway, here's a good example. Mechanical properties, um, folding endurance affected by refining. So here it says that it's extremely sensitive to small changes in refining. And folding endurance is one of the major things that you can affect with increased refining. So here's an example of how various paper properties are influenced by an increase in refining. Porosity with increased refining goes down. Smoothness goes up. Density up. Thickness down. Bonding up. Folding endurance up strength up. However, in paper making, there's always a trade-off, always chasing one property at the expense of another. So even in refining, something like bending stiffness, when there's increased refining, there's an increase in density, which is good for bending stiffness, but every increase in refining also decreases thickness, which is bad for bending stiffness. So it's always on a case-by-case -case basis. So this is a great book. Um, if you ever feel like buying a book, Paper Making and Manufacture of Paper Products. This is a crazy from Beater here. I just want to read you this passage. It says, the length of time the pulp requires to be beaten, like the amount of chewing at any one time, depends upon the fiber and the kind of paper being made. I have to tell you how tired I am. I'm trying to show you this picture and I just went like this to try and zoom in on the actual page. It's ridiculous. Anyway, this is a Jordan refiner. I just wanted to show you that in hand paper making, the methods of refining usually is a Hollander beater, a Valley beater, a Raina beater, or beating by hand. So refining by hand if you're using bar um, barks. But in the paper industry, there's other ways too. They use conical refiners and other types of 
machinery to further finesse the fiber. So this video has been a little overview of the differences between pulping and refining. I hope that it's helped clarify those two concepts for you. It took me a really long time to pry them apart. So basically pulping is liberating the fiber so that it can come to the paper making party and refining is fibrillation. So basically increasing the surface area, creating fines, leading to increased bonding and increased strength, at least in the beginning.